you have to play fast. There is no option. There is no, like, trying to play, you know, the movement-based defensive game yep. of ZSS. You have to go. keep your pedal on the metal, and he might have to do so on the plastic of Rob as we go to Battlefield for game number one. Dill gonna have to exhibit a little bit more patience if he wants to uh, even see the light of day, as you alluded yep. to, Dara. Yeah, like, already right off the bat, like, Fanny has done a great job of, like, being comfortable at the time that Dill is gonna drop the shield and just down out him for it. Oh my god, so much damage. Just oh putting him goodness. in the wow. blood dude. Already at 92% oh. good up B. Yeah, no, I mean Venya, if he decides to go low, that is the that is the loss of his stock. Right then and there. Just as we were talking about all that momentum, but there is no momentum in the face of Rob. Take an up smash. I'll take the stock in return. Yep. I mean, I don't know who gave one of the best zoners one of the best boxing options in the game, but here we are in a darkest timeline 2020 with Rob's down tilt in existence. Wow, really nice conversion, getting a nice forward in there. Ooh. And now, the roll back to the stage. Venya will take action however he possibly can. Really can't afford to wait any longer in terms of taking the stop, but still doing his best to keep Venya at bay. But, you know, Venya just shows no fear whatsoever, and he will come in with that back air and take the stop. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, and honestly, yeah, there we go. Like, Venya like, starts to begin the mix, catching the directional air dodge from Dill. He's already off stage. He's gonna be dealing oh. so much percent. The missed tech, so unfortunate. Making Dill question his uh, movement off stage. I mean, obviously in a vacuum, Rob, one of the better uh, recoveries in the game just because of how long you can wait. You can go literally anywhere that you want. But, I mean, Venya, Greninja can get anywhere that he wants, and he can send you up and out in an instant if you yeah. are not careful. And Dill, perhaps caught napping, he might need a wake-up call, and I'd say that he got one in that second stop. Really nice dash attack into the up smash. Another one, that's a dash attack. He's looking for the second back air, catching the high recovery from Dill. This is a really, really bad spot for Dill right now. He has to find a way to get back. Venya tried to cover it with an F tilt, still able to find the down tilt into up smash. The way that Venya is able to kill Dill off stage for so long is oh. genuinely unmatched. Pop him up, send him out. That water kunai has a little bit of kick to it. And Venya finds himself up one to nil. And Dill, I mean, I'm not really sure what else there is to say. That is, uh, That was a clinic put on by Venya on how to deal with zoners. Just have one of the fastest ground speeds in the game and close them down. That's uh, as simple as that, Dara. That was, yeah, Venya has to find, I mean, whatever happened stock one, Venya was like, okay, I'm so glad that you had your time, like you had your moment to shine, like you're doing great. Um, After. No, you're absolutely right, and what we've seen thus far from Venya, at the very least, is, uh, I'd say it's indicative of what we're going to see going forward as we're seeing, I actually didn't see the the stage selection. Yep. You're seeing it with me, it's Pokemon Stadium. Mm -hmm. I do like this choice from Dill, however, I mean, it's nothing that, uh, nothing that Venya can't and has not handled in uh, tournaments past. Um, there, there we saw like a little bit of mix from Dale. He landed aggressively onto stage and then was able to actually like smack Venya through like sort of landing with Nair in front of him, get a grab off. Um, but all that is irrelevant now. He is off stage. Venya is ready to just wait for him. He tried to down tilt him before the neutral air vertical hitbox came out above his head. Um, but Dale still had the right idea. Absolutely. Hey, you know what? If you have the hitbox, you might as well throw it out. And yeah, those short hop nares are not going to be nearly as useful as you might think just because you don't have the time with which to deploy them. Mm -hmm. And Venya, he knows exactly what he needs to do. He needs to stay in the face of Dylan, has done so with uh, remarkable effectiveness. Wow, good shield that was such a good short hop. He was like, he conditioned Dill to think that he was going to do, you know, do something else, and he just dash attacked him right for it. Yeah, Venya, and you can look at the player cam. He's reading the situation just such expertise and he realizes exactly what he wants to do everything around him look gonna look for the wally wop will not find it and now all of a sudden 
gets caught with the up smash. Caught pressing too many buttons there. I would like to say that Rob Dampio is man's greatest equalizer. Because no matter who you are, man, woman, child, you are going to be mashing. And you see the frustration in everybody's face as they try to mash out of it. I've never seen... I've never focused on Venia's player cam as he was mashing, but I saw that elbow. I saw like the yeah. vibration of the shoulder. He looked at he looked as though he was in just a little note I wanted to make. I don't know <laughs> if I hallucinated it, but I thought I saw the player cam. I don't know if that's for certain, however, and we are going to I'm a reporter, I just I, I'm just the facts. Just the facts, y'all. Either way, that slide right into the base of Rob going to stagger him just a little bit, however. This is what Dill was looking for, a little bit more flat ground with which to work so Did that you he see can create his offense was? to begin with. What's up? He reflected the up B win box projectile. He reflected the hydro pump, and yeah. Venue was just sent flying across the stage. It's that was... A, I mean, I, that was, you had such a good eye for that. I barely even noticed that. But however, Whoa. Greninja, you know, he paints with broad strokes <laughs> with those water kunai, and that is exactly how he's going to take those second stock. That second stock, excuse me. Yeah, it's like, for some reason, like, Venya loves playing from behind. It's always like he always takes, like, the first stock as this observation opportunity. He always uses it to gather his notes. And then he's like, okay, yeah, I know you're going to do action. I dodge away from my down tilt, and I'm going to fully charge up, smash you forward. Oh, you got 70 and you died? My bad. Yeah, I'll take that. Thank you very much. As Venya, I mean, already piling on even more damage, has Dill at the true cursed percentage. However... We are past that threshold uh, quite decisively. Pile driver going to send Venya up and out down to his last stock. Still looking to get on the board here. Uh, he's got a ways to go. Yeah, for sure. Oh, he's landing aggressively on his shield with back here, but Rob failing to actually have something that, aside from grab, that would cover like a low profiling opponent. Oh. Beautifully used to the water shield could just interrupt him. Honestly, so well done. And we're seeing... Uh, a side of Venya that perhaps we are uh, we are used to, but it's still awe-inspiring nonetheless. Just how quickly, how efficiently he can get into your face. How effectively he can nullify a character like Rob. Every single uh, point of strength that you could possibly hope for from that character. And Dill uh, making a contest of this. He is one big hit away, you could perhaps say. One That's grab, and he was looking for the grabs there! Instead, catches Venya in the air, a look of exasperation. Uh, he overcommitted to the dash grab. That up smash has a good, old, has a huge scoop hitbox that not a lot of people are very. It, it hits quite far off to the sides, much more than you'd expect. Yeah, I, I was kind of wondering. I mean, did you? Uh, I was kind of wondering if that was a jump or if that was just a scoop. Yeah, no, he just uh, straight up scooped him, mm -hmm. and Venya might have actually been ducking, as a matter of fact. Yeah. But. Greninja's like foot kind of sticks out here and there. Anything's <laughs> Dill, possible. Deal with the yawn. You know what? Just another day at the office for a while. <laughs> As we go to Kalos for game number three. Interesting choice from Venya. I mean, maybe a little bit less room with which to work, but it's uh, going to be effective nonetheless. So you, you would think, at least in the early part of these proceedings, going about even, in fact, taking an advantage right oh, now. Oh, he tried to get the drag down into the uh, down tilt. I like the idea, but Rob uh, fell a little bit too fast for that. Don't think he would work on him. Or maybe he would have to initiate the drag down up just a little bit higher so that he would have time to land it. And oh that forward Oh, and he's holding on to the gyro. But Dill is just going to grab it right out of the air. <laughs> that was my past self. Give that back. <laughs> Ooh. Those are my kills. Those are my kids. Let them go. <laughs> I, I like the idea that gyros are just Rob's children. That he throws at them. That he I throws mean, at people. That's literally what Yoshi does. Yeah, but they're unfertilized, you know? You, for all you they're know. They're who would fight? Oh, what? Look, are you really? Is this the conversation we're having right now? Yeah, in winning semis of top eight uh, Xeno Saga uh, 32, uh, we're going to be talking about whether or not Yoshi's actually fertilized. Anyhow, that would be amazing, though. You can't even deny that. Either way, uh, <laughs> getting back to the conversation at hand. Yeah, the up smash out of shield. Yeah, yeah you know, catching the fact that the dash attack, you know, didn't cross up such a huge shield. Um, and wow, Benio finally able to connect that forward there. A whole stock up, 
and it's early Pusan, meaning Lunin is going to have a field day with low Pusan conversions, but Rob is definitely no stranger to those either. Yeah, and you would have to think, I mean, with what we've seen thus far with uh, with Dill trying to establish the, uh, the zoning Ooh. game. Oh my goodness! Yeah, you know what? Forget, forget the, the conversations back. about neutral. Get your kills at ledge, kid! Yeah, just bleeding it all the way back. Such a such a good stock from Dill. I love it. Also, his nail has like extended its hitbox, its hitbox on the gyro multiple times. Again, Venny is having all of the right ideas, using the F tilt to cover these air dodges back. But because he inputs them way too early, they're no longer active by the time Dill is vulnerable. So now, as we're getting Rob wasting a gyro on the shield of Greninja and gets caught with uh, the up smash. You know what? I got an up smash of my own. Here it is. And we've seen Dill fall victim to it quite a few times now. That was actually a nothing. good mix-up. Venia like realized that he died far too and waits to connect the Florida, so he just went for an up and damage. Oh. Catches with the anti-air up tilt. Now all of a sudden Dill in a precarious position himself. He just has to find a way to be able to land. Oh, no. That's he not got, happening. No, he got teed up. That, as soon as the Hydro Pump came out, I think Dill even realized. It's like I might have made a little bit of a miscalculation with the recovery, and now all of a sudden it's Venya who's going to be going up 2-1 uh, to one yep. in this set. And while I do think that considering the uh, the stage selection, even though Rob does uh, is quite uh, deferential to, to Kalos himself, Venia did not seem to have any problem with it. It's still a little bit of a lesser space to have to deal with in terms of flat ground than Pokemon Stadium. Plus, I get these two non-interactivity platforms that give me all the room that yeah. I need to... He just waits on those, and yeah. then he's able to catch the... Like, anytime he uses the Uppy, he's able just to wait on those so that he could connect the back hit a whole lot easier. And the same exact principle would apply on Town & City as well, honestly. It's so strange, because you're, you're giving Venia time to think about this. And now, all of a sudden, as we go back to Pokemon Stadium, I think we all kind of anticipated this for game number four. Now, uh, now Venya has to really look into the eyes of the machine and uh, and not blink because this is where Dill got his win on game number two and did so pretty decisively, even though the scores would indicate otherwise. Yeah. Just like all of these multi chaps, just dealing a whole lot of damage, and Venya going for it again. Yeah. Okay. Might as well. You know what? Whatever works. You know. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Up tilt into another up air, but they're able to air dodge through that. I would have expected Venia to like maybe do a 50-50 there and just like wait for him to air dodge. And I get it. You're, you're, you're not putting the machine in the blender. That's not how this works. That is going to damage the blades. It's going to avoid the warranty. It's not a good idea. Either yeah. way, looking for the F smash again, not going to find it. Dill being incredibly, uh, incredibly exacting with how he lands. He does not want to fall into any of these smash attacks. However, keeps getting caught at the ledge. And when you're playing against Greninja, there's only so much you can do. Yeah, for sure. Um, and right now, Venny is like doing a great job of just like making the most out of this lead. Great reaction on the tech outwards, able to still cover it with a dash attack. Wow, I love that usage of the Shuriken there. It just completely yeah. stopped the gyro in its tracks, not give Dill any of the stage control that he wants. Greninja's still gonna live that. You know, that move does not have like the best like knockback scaling. It has like a lot of set knockback at ledge, even at 120, it won't kill. Yeah, I mean it, the the shuriken doesn't always have to be an offensive weapon. It can do it can do the neutralization game just as well. And when you're talking about gyro, one of the best options that Rob has in terms of controlling the field, then uh, you got to use it to every single uh, possible way that you possibly that you. How many times can I say possibly in one sentence? Uh, any way that you can. Hydro pump trying to do some cheekiness with it. With Dill standing at 102 percent, might need what a little a bit more than that. What a jab mix-up! He waited for him to try to maybe match like a defensive option, and he did jab, jab into forward air, and as a result, he got so much mileage off of it. And that is another forward air. Yep, fast fall forward air, beautifully done, right to the face of the machine, and all of a sudden, it's Dill. Drag on up air into up tilt, and a couple of more up airs. A lot of really, really good damage for Dill right now. Up tilt, not quite going to find its mark. However. Yup, smash will, and this is the this is what Venya needs to uh, needs to concentrate on a little bit more because he is throwing out a lot of smash attacks. Some of these up smashes, perhaps good educated guesses, but they need to be actual hard reads yeah. at this point. Like he cannot afford to miss with these, especially 
with how quickly Dill can get back on the offensive. And now Dill back on legs. This is a dangerous spot. The I tournament could know. be over. I don't know what about that get up attack. Yeah. I don't know what happened there. And then Dill's like, yeah, I'm out of fuel. Um, but literally and, you know, uh, I guess figuratively though, very convincing, I want to say, 3-1 from Venia though. Definitely just showed off like the fact that he knows how um, just to punish a lot of, you know, um, those who cover. Absolutely. And what we've seen uh, at least thus far from Venia, definitely deserving of a spot in winner's final. And